Good morning, good morning, do 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 Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, welcome to a daily dose of joy. And how are we going to get that dose of joy? By playing one of the microdosing games, one of our little tools in our toolbox for optimizing the dose chemistry in our brain. And when that baseline, when we are pumping up the base, joy, peace, clarity, vibrancy are so easy. <laughs> it comes easy. It's like being in flow or being in alignment to have a brain that is fully dosed with positive neurotransmitters allows you to easily be your true authentic self. Let go and release any fight or flight false associations. So one of the wonderful ways to keep drawing back to that joy bias is when things get a little wobbly, as life will deal you some wobbles, right? Um, that you create, you make a neural pathway attachment over to humor and to uh, the positive neurochemistry of laughing. So we have the whoopsie daisy story. And the reason we use this little game is to keep weaving those wires, weaving those wires over to laughter and joy as opposed to fear or shame or embarrassment or concern, worry, it's negative bias of vigilance and protection. Instead, reorient to joy, laughter, ease. So, um, you know, sometimes a whoopsie daisy is based on uh, falling down. Sometimes it's based on you know, things not going as planned when you travel, or um, sometimes it's just a slip of the tongue. It's the little whoopsie daisy, any and all of them, seeing them and finding the humor. Great training for our brains, great opportunity to dose. And when we use the whoopsie daisy tool, just laugh along, laugh along, even if you're choosing to laugh, and then the spontaneous laughter will come more and more easily. So I'm going to share two of my recent whoopsie daisy stories. Um, one <laughs> just happened yesterday. I was talking to a friend and we were having, um, we were, she was using some of the microdosing tools and we were building positive momentum and we were using a lot of laughter and a lot of play as well as sort of positive declarative statements, doing deeper truths. And she had really generated a shift from a little negative association to a lot of great positive association, joy. And just as she did, a white albino deer walked through her backyard. A white albino baby deer. She got a picture and sent it to me. Well, this friend is an Aussie friend. And um, as she, <laughs> she says, also she's like, Winston. And then quiet, Winston, there's an albino deer in the backyard. And I was like, mm. she says, oh. You know, what a God moment. Like I have shifted, I've created all this positive momentum and it's like this little reward, this little serendipity of like, yeah, you're lining up on the right track, girl, keep it going. And so we were talking about how awesome this was and how affirming it was. And, <laughs> and I kept hearing her say the word albino, albino the albino deer. <laughs> and it became, in my head, in this moment of celebration, it became more and more funny in my head. 
And Mark, the fact that it, this is in my head. So we're a little ways down the conversation and she says, ah, oh, the albino deer. And I just start laughing. It's like, whoopsie daisy. My brain has jump tracked full on humor. And she's kind of quiet on the other end. Yeah, she, she laughs easy, but she was just really, well, what was the prompt? Like, when it was like this, I couldn't stop laughing to tell her. Big whoopsie daisy. Just on the phone with somebody laughing so hard I can't catch my breath. And then I tried to explain. I said, well, it sounds to me like you keep saying, El, El Bino, El Bino. And she's like, yeah, El Bino. <laughs> no, no, let me try, try and filter this through my ears. So I, I'm accustomed to albino. So when I hear El Bino, I think you are doing like a Latin American, you know, a uh, cheer. <laughs> that's just, that's the association that my ear finds most familiar. And there's, has it, have you ever heard of a product called Bino? <laughs> She's like, no. And I said, Oh, well, it's a product that people take when they eat beans to keep them from getting gas from eating beans. And then she starts laughing. Because <laughs> she thinks I'm like pranking her. <laughs> it sounds like a prank product. Beano. <laughs> for, for no more bean gas, Beano. <laughs> and then I explain. That the L makes it sound even more Latin, like El, El Bino. <laughs> like she was doing a cheer to this anti-gas bean supplement. <laughs> and, oh, <laughs> we took that whoopsie daisy of me <laughs> playing in my own mind and laughing over the phone, unannounced, unprompted, and turned it into a whoopsie-daisy story that we can share with people <laughs> about the mistranslation between Aussie and American, tomato, tomato, potato, potato, albino, albino. <laughs> okay. Oh, ah. <laughs> so later in the day, get up from my computer, go head out on a walk. Anytime I take a call, I take it outside and walk while I'm on my call. And this time I'm doing a laughter flow with a friend. And I, uh, we had been chatting about something else. And so I didn't have my earbuds with me. So I just put her on speakerphone and I had her sort of tucked tucked right in here. I just tucked the phone right in here and had it on speakerphone so I could walk and, you know, be hands-free. So I'm walking on kind of a windy path through the woods and we're laughing. And then uh, as you've seen, sometimes when I laugh, I laugh so hard that it becomes very, it goes from really loud. There's a lot of variability. It goes loud, but it also can go really quiet. So I was kind of laughing like, like that. And she was laughing and, and much louder. And, but, but the, what was really loud was she decided spontaneously to do a, Cause I was telling her about the beauty of the woods and these vines. And so suddenly she goes, Oh, <laughs> really loudly. Just as I 
round a corner. This has been going on for a few minutes as well. And I'm kind of enjoying the woods and laughing. Almost like imagining that I'm here with Tarzan. I come around a corner and there is a guy walking in my direction. He's beating his hands on his chest in response to what he is right up here by my face. He thinks it's me going through the woods going, ah. So he decides to round the corner and go, ah. I can barely see the walk. I can just laugh. Giving him a thumbs up. And he was laughing. The two of us were just bent over on this path in the woods. Oh, oh. Whoopsie daisies of speaker phones. Oh. Ah, so I sort of explained the whoopsie daisy story and we wished each other well. <laughs> but it was definitely one of the surprising delights from my day. Ah, so I've learned a lot about just being myself and not being embarrassed to be myself. And more often than not is what that attracts is joy or humor or levity around me. Rarely does it really get that sort of like, oh, 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 what are you doing? Eh. Or at least if it does, I don't notice, so who cares? <laughs> right? like I'm really, practicing the whoopsie daisy tool has really helped me enjoy being me. Wherever I am and wherever I go, whatever I do. So I wish those same positive benefits for you Give the whoopsie daisy stories a try. And when you find those humorous moments, turn around and tell the story. Engage your hippocampus. It's great work for the memory retrieval and share it with a friend. All right, I hope that we're both surprised and delighted by today. Oh, let's take our three solidarity breaths to let that Dose chemistry, those positive associations, let them sink in. May today surprise and delight us. See y'all tomorrow.